An iPhone CO2 machine and surveillance camera all help solve a crime. Wow, we are so lucky. Shu Ju Wang and Mike Coleman live in the West Portland Park neighborhood. They have been living out of a hotel after trees crushed their home during this month's winter storm. When returning to pick up items, they quickly realized their cello, electronics and jewelry had all vanished. Well, he immediately noticed things were gone. And uh, so then I noticed that all the drawers, all my all the drawers have been opened and also things have been moved around. About a week later, Wang said they grabbed a CO2 monitor from the house and the history log showed someone had been inside while they were gone. And you can download historic data and the meter is really sensitive. Like if a cat walks into the room, it will pick it up. So it's, it's like picking up our breath. After telling people about the burglary, they found out one of their neighbors had a surveillance camera recording the road. And then I remembered Thursday prior, I saw two guys walking down the street that did not fit in and our streets were ice covered. There's no way you would go for a casual stroll checking out a house or anything, but they were clearly casing the house. That same night, the couple started getting Find My iPhone notifications. Using their surveillance video and the notifications, they tracked the Apple products to an apartment in Tigard. So I just drove over there to see if the pickup truck was there, and lo and behold, he passed me as I pulled in and stopped at his apartment, so I knew the exact apartment. After taking photos and collecting all of their evidence, they went to Portland police. Police got a search warrant and they arrested 54-year-old Jack Kowalski. Shu Ju Wang says they got their cello and electronics back, but some of her more expensive jewelry is still missing. I'm very sorry to have, you know, lost some of these material things, but I'm still just thinking, wow, we are so lucky. Sydney Dorner, KGW News.